Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna try to explain how to improve your aim and how to just, you know, be better at recoil control and all that good stuff. Alright, so let's get started with the first thing you guys need to know about every single gun on, uh, I'm pretty much on Rainbow Six Siege. So, every gun has a different recoil pattern, alright? So, see Ash just goes straight up, but whenever you guys shoot her gun, right? You need to aim down to the right just a little bit to compensate, you know, for the recoil and all that. And you need to do that for every single gun. Every single gun, so, has a different way to pull down so you guys can control the recoil. So for Ash, it's down and to the right. You control the recoil. For Jaeger, it's also down to the right. For Bandit, I'm pretty sure it's also down to the right. But there are guns down to the left. Also, uh, what else? I I'm not quite sure what uh, other guns, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. No gun uh, has the recoil pattern of just pulling down. So that is one of the tips I have to give you guys. Uh, if you guys know the recoil pattern, let people know down in the description below. If you guys know it, don't bullshit around. Don't tell us some stupid lies. And, you know, if you agree with a comment, just like it. And, yo, that would help out other people that are reading through the chat. Anyways, the next tip that I want to give you guys as, uh, you know, I'm running through this T-Hunt is when you guys are playing T-Hunt, try to first off worry about your recoil the most, okay? Controlling your recoil pattern is probably the most important thing you guys can, uh, you know, focus on, especially when you're playing T-Hunt. Because that's when you guys warm up. And that's how you start like getting better at controlling recoil. And I don't mean, you know, you have to run around and then go for like strafes, hit them and all that. No. All you guys need to do is practice your recoil pattern with whatever yo, I'm 16 HP. Whatever with whatever operator you guys are trying to get better with, okay? So that's also a massive part I would uh, you know advise you guys to do if you guys want to get better at aiming and all that. I did this or oh, I can't even tell you bro I don't even know how many Teons I've played sometimes I played three hours every single day I didn't even hop into ranked I just play T hunt all the time and sometimes I still do to be honest just because I want to uh, you know improve my aim and T hunt is 100% the way to go even if you guys are trying to get a uh, you know your new sensitivity if you guys want to up your sensitivity Grinding T hunt is definitely the way to go if you guys want to do that stuff, okay? Alright, so let's move on to the next tip that I will give you guys is I see so it's such a cliche whenever people are like, yo, play T hunt and go for one taps. But to be honest, this is actually a tip that uh, helped me out a lot just because you guys have to first off move around the corn is a little bit slow because you can't just sprint around and because usually you just die right there. So, you know, try to go slow around the corners and then okay what was that and then try to you know try to go for those one taps and once you guys are more confident with your aim and your sensitivity you guys can move around the the corners a lot quicker and that's when you guys will build up your sensitivity that's when you will get used to your sensitivity i know it's different on pc because on pc i feel like most of the people already have good aim just because you know the mouse and all that but once you guys are, you know, used to your sensitivity and you go for those one tabs, you can really tell if you have your right sensitivity or not. If you guys want to know how to get your sensitivity right, uh, I, I'll link another video down below. Uh, because I've already done a video like this where, I'll, where I explained how to, you know, find your sensitivity and all that. I might do another one just because uh, that was a couple of months ago when I did that. So, I, last but not least, I just want to talk about... Uh, your controller because as you guys can see I'm uh, crouching with R2 over here I don't I don't play with a scuff it's a normal controller and I just use control freeze and that's everything I use and to be honest I've been playing like this for the last three years or however long I've been playing siege and you don't need more trust me I know a lot of uh, like competitive what do you call them uh, like console players they don't even need a scuff especially on PS4 on, on Xbox, it's a little bit easier to, you know, to get a, get a scuff because, you know, Xbox has, like, their elite controllers. But we on PS4 don't really have that, so, you know, it's a pain in the ass for us 
to order a scarf it costs like 300 bucks for shipping and you can save a lot of money if you guys are you know trying to get used to this method that i'm using right here with uh, ch just changing your button layout right here i have a settings video also linked down below so you guys know what my settings are and all that and yeah that's pretty much there's not much to say to be honest just grind out t hunt play rank with your friends have fun at the game and you guys will improve over time you guys just have to be confident with your movement being confident with uh you know moving around you know doing it first of 180s 360s whatever it is you guys have to be confident around that because you will be playing other people especially when you get into high ranks that will be confident and i trust me even in plateau level i still see people that are struggling with their movement sensitivity and you know why that is because they don't play enough t-hunt and t-hunt can improve yourself a lot like it's a big cliche in like the community especially when i stream a lot of people say yo how do i improve i say t-hunt they're like oh bro that's what everyone told me like yeah but because it's true like everyone that you see on console that uh, is good at it plays t-hunt like out of their mind i don't know a lot of uh people that play t-hunt uh, that, that are good with the controller that don't grind out t-hunt trust me that's one of the things you guys need to know uh, all the people that you see absolutely like insane on the controller they grind out t-hunt warming up and playing t-hunt is also very important because for example whenever a uh, competitive console players you know get into a tournament they don't just jump in they warm up T-Hunt, they try to warm up their aim, you know, get their fingers warm, blah, 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 you know, all this stuff you have to do. That's pretty much also what every pro player does on PC, so, you know, don't, don't think you're an exception, you can just jump in and all that, because, let's be honest, not everyone, I know a couple of people that can just jump into ranked and be absolutely insane, but, let's be honest, if you're just starting off, you should 100% play more T-Hunt, so you can... You know improve because that's literally the point why you're trying to play teal all right so uh, i've pretty much just said everything that i needed to say and i wanted to say so i hope it uh, helped you guys in any sort of way and um, and yeah that's pretty much it so if you guys learned anything new uh, in this video if it helped you out please let me know in the comment section below and leave a like and subscribe and yeah that's pretty much it so have a beautiful day night evening whatever it is for you guys and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out